won't be solo commentating for too long, as I do have someone joining. Introduce yourself. Hi, what's up, everybody? It's Kanye on the mic. It's been a hot minute. It really has, but... Oh, shoot. All right, so everything's fine. Vladin versus Marvelous Marco. Yeah, Marco and Vladin. This time, Vladin going for his more familiar Lucina instead of the Mario we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Perhaps yeah. a bit more beneficial in this matchup. Yeah, uh, he did lie earlier. He said he was going wolf. I'm going to call him out on that one. But um, Lucina, notoriously really good against um, Young Link. It's really hard for Young Link to get back onto stage. It's not easy for Toon Link either, especially like with that stage spike. Toon Link, yeah. Toon Link, Young Link, they... There's three me. of them in this game. It's hard keeping track. Yeah, they, they, they're they all similar. I like, mained Toon Link for a while, <laughs> and I had a hard time, so... <laughs> it's all good. But now it looks like Marvelous Marco finally getting some momentum. Z-dropping that bomb onto the platform, but Vlad and not falling for any of it. All of a sudden, the Latin even without racking up too much of extra credit, already looking dominant, especially with this defensive play that's up the out of shield. Ooh. Chasing him when he doesn't even need to, and that air oh. dodge will spend the end of the second stock for Marco. Yeah. Um, three stocks up to one. Yeah, Marvelous Marco probably thought that he still had his his second jump, but unfortunately he spent it a little early and died for it. Yeah, and that is the dangers of going off stage when you're a Toon Link player without a bomb hold. It's just willing to die at a moment's notice if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. For tilt on the ledge. And Vladin I don't I honestly don't see Marco coming back from this one. I don't either. Lucina isn't a character you see too many edge guards Ooh. against that what? does not Jeez. tech that counter and stage spikes again for the second time. Vladin looking so clean with a three stock in game one. Yeah, I did not expect that uh up B. He got the late hit of the up B, so it didn't put him in a teching situation. Marco had to go and recover immediately after, and he got countered and just died for it. Yeah, far too low to tether, and that's the price you have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. And now, now we are going to see the wolf from uh, the Latin, so perhaps not a total liar. Are we going to see a character switch from Marco as well? No, he's getting a controller reset. Ah, okay. Probably felt like his R button wasn't working at the time. And we're seeing Lucina again. Mm-hmm. Vladin, Kanye is calling you out. So if you're watching this back, just just know, you're not real enough for Wolf. Oh, he knows. Here he knows. He knows. He he knows. He'll be giving him some once he gets off stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, game starting. Vladin starting off real strong. Just all this pressure coming in. Fifty-two percent. Oh, he's still hitting him. A couple Ooh. of fares in a row. Five that he's landed. Six in the past. He's just continuing. Ooh, counter yet again, but they, now Marvelous Marco gets the tech, but there's another counter offstage. Bear, and that's going to be a zero to death coming in from Vladin. Yeah, Vladin and Lucina, both masters of edge guarding, and, and in this case, we saw with a character as exploitable as Toon Link's recovery, that's just such a bad situation. The dancing blade from Lucina, the first time we've seen that this game. Mm hmm. Vladin, very familiar with throwing out that up B. In times of uh, getting pressured, Marlos Marco needs to find a way to get in and like try to deal some amount of damage because he's been having a hard time just like establishing some form of presence in this game. Yeah, these bomb confirms into fair are good. They're a start, but they can't be the total package if you want to make this comeback. They actually could. <laughs> I mean, they, it is too late. <laughs> like, like, I could, I can imagine like bomb confirms could get you pretty far. We saw him single-handedly pull up, you know, with pretty much that alone, another counter, and that oh. one, with, in the absence of a tech, will bring this game to three stocks to one. Yeah, but now it, it, once again, Marvelous Marco in the same situation as he was before, getting up with the up tilt up air, gonna take out the stock. Yeah, finally closes his first stock of the entire set. Mm -hmm. in game two. Nice trip. Another trip, but kind of a, a, a lot of stuff is happening right now. It is. Good F smash call out from Marco. Uh, tax on early damage won't be sending Lucina anywhere near the blast zone, but you need every percent you can get when you're down by this much. Yep, now both players reset to neutral. Marco's just trying to find a way to get Vladin off stage so he could get some form of advantage. Oh, but now he's off stage yet again. But it, nice. Almost got the confirm, and that 
Could have been a real... It wouldn't have got the stock, but it would have put uh, Vlad in a really detrimental situation. Right. And now... Uh, projectiles coming out from Marco. Trying to catch a landing. Not going to get it right there. Back air comes up from Vlad. When you have this space through the platforms, misses with the F-Smash, by the way, and the back throw from Marco will bring this to a last stock situation. All of a sudden, this is looking so much more doable, especially with these bombs landing at such a high rate. No, that was unfair. He actually chopped the bomb in half with the bear. He didn't get hit, but Marco did. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate for him. And a bit of betrayal from your own bomb. Mm -hmm. but meanwhile, Marco starting to bring this back almost a little bit. Oh, that down. was... Uh, and the Dolphin Slash out of shield going to close it out. A lot closer second game from Marco, but still unable to come the absolute fortress that is Lucina off stage. Mm -hmm. uh, that dare was a bit of a desperation play. It was. <laughs> and, you know... as. Yeah.